data is incredibly important for a building. You can't manage what you don't measure. So without doing benchmarking of a building, you really have no sense of how you're performing compared to other buildings in the city or other similar buildings of a similar size and region. So as soon as you start there, you can start looking at an energy audit for that building. And that really starts to open up exactly what can be done in that building to reduce your energy use whether that's looking at your lighting, your HVAC systems, or anything kind of along those lines. The Terry Thomas building was designed by Weber Thompson and was completed in 2008. It's a 40,000 square foot office that's lead gold and performs 56% better than the national average in energy use. It went through a program that was done by NIA and the Seattle 2030 district a few years ago called the Strategic Energy Management Program. And what that did was really look at how the building was performing at the time and go through an energy audit and that then informed how they were going to go from that point to, the goal, uh, to achieve the goals of the Seattle 2030 district. And by looking at all of that data, they were really able to say, okay, this is where we are right now, this is where we need to go. What are the things that can be done in that time frame and really bring the whole team together? So that's the tenant of the buildings, the building owner, the building management, and the building engineers to really work collectively towards that goal. And that's really the key of that program. And once you have a sense of what that benchmark is, you can really use that to track your performance over the few years and see the impact that, that those energy audits are making. One of the ways that this building does that is through night audits that the engineers do on a quarterly basis. And that really looks at how the building is performing after everyone is gone. So you can check your set points, you can see what might be going wrong with your HVAC system. Even if windows or lights are left on, there's kind of really simple things that can be caught in those night audits that will improve your efficiency going on. And that way you can really track those things and make sure that they're being done on a regular basis and those improvements are actually impacting the efficiency of the building as well. Energy efficiency in a building really doesn't have to be that complicated. It can be as complicated as you want it to be. So if you want to have a dashboard at the beginning of the building that says exactly what's going on with each individual system and how much lighting is happening, what your HVAC is doing, then that's great but a lot of tenants that just goes way over their head. So if you keep it simple and you just give kind of simple guidance as to what's going on in the building uh, or how you can take actions in order to save energy, whether that's taking the stairs, turning your monitors off at night, turning the lights off after you leave a room. Those are kind of three simple things that people just overlook a lot when you're in an office space. Whereas when you're in your house, you would just do those things. Whether it's the Terry Thomas building or an older building, the lessons learned from the strategic energy management program and the incentives applied to this building could be applied to any of those buildings.